Now, what we are trying to do is to work with the production from the Magog facility in Quebec and utilize the, the uh, technologies available to come up with final Magnum SRI compounds that can be utilized throughout the market. Now, in this case, we'll be starting off with tire dust, uh, the form of 40 mesh or better. Uh, our technology operates with material uh, that can start with 40 mesh all the way up to cryogenically produced crumb. Uh, 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 in addition, we will be working with uh, automotive component scrap in the form of EPTM, uh, NBR, and other, other, other value added materials, including butyl, where this material will be broken down and the surface activation technology will be utilized to get the material uh, able to be processed with available uh, evulcanization technologies. So we then end up with a evulcanized compound uh, produced at low cost but while maintaining all the properties. Now our intention is to come up with a magnum SRI compound for each of the product segments. So we're talking about from retread compounds to uh, automotive compounds down to basic normal day to day compounds such as bicycle tires, tubes and the like. Now having explained the process, we're now talking about using a proprietary technology to activate the surface of the scrap such that it becomes far more receptive to the uh, chemical treatments that we're going to apply and to be able to carry out all of this with economies of scale. When I say economies of scale, we're talking about volumes that actually bring down your cost and reduce the energy consumption substantially. Now here, although I'm unable to show you the actual process, is what we were discussing earlier, the activated crumb. It has gone through the process, looks almost as if nothing has happened. But this material is as close to black gold as we're going to get for quite some time. This has been activated and is now very, very receptive material and within very short order needs to be processed uh, to be fully devalorized and then compounded into the material we want. Now the advantage of having it in this format is that the final material can actually be introduced to various compounds almost immediately. So it's uh, the time frame taken to mix it into your compounds are not compromised at all. Now we are looking at a compound which is actually a composite. We have taken our activated material, devulcanized it and blended it with a custom uh, retread compound produced from a major manufacturer. So now we have in my hand, my hand right now, a custom Magnum SRI compound. Now this material is a retread compound that effectively can be introduced into the production cycle of the manufacturer without any adjustment. And while there are no differences in terms of properties, there's one big difference which we find rather attractive. It saves them money. In this, we're talking about compounds where manufacturers have already put in all manner of diluents and cost reduction materials. With this with compound, there are none of the compromises that come with diluents and fillers. With this compound, we meet all the practical properties that are required. Right. At this point, I'm going to probably thicken it out and get it ready for testing. So we're talking about material that can be thrown into the last stage of production. So from the Magog facility in Quebec, we will have a compound that regional retreaders 
will probably throw straight into their production the last minute of their mixing cycle in their intermixes and batteries and then end up with a manufactured product that is within their technical specifications. This is our future. Blended the compounds, come up with a custom Magnum SRI version of the retread compound. And we have now just vulcanized it in our press. So this is a finished product, having gone through the full cycle of the production uh, process. So here we have the Magnum compound having been molded on a press using the retread compound. You're talking about a perfect finished product. This will meet all the technical specifications of the manufacturer and it is going to help the environment put money in their pockets and certainly contribute greatly to the Magnum SRI profitability in the future. Now, having gone through the full production part of the exercise, we have vulcanized the final Magnum SRI compound. And this will be effectively what we hope it will be the production from the Magnum SRI operation in uh, Quebec at Magnum. So what we're talking about is uh, the vulcanized material converted to test sheets, and we're now going to produce a bell-shaped Having secured it on the tensile tester, we are now going to activate it. And this is going to effectively test the tensile strength at break of the compound. Like this, we will be carrying out a battery of tests to ascertain just how good or bad, looking for the strengths and the weaknesses of the various compounds that we will be producing. Realize that we are going to be producing a very wide range of compounds and then come up with a few generic versions which can be easily introduced into the uh, production cycle. This particular compound is a 7525 and another one which is a 9010 mix of virgin compound and activated compound. Uh, we operate all the way up to a 70-30 mix depending on the customer's requirements. Another Magnum SRI success. <laughs>